بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خص إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر الحمد لله سكر بس والله سبحانه وتعالى once again we're invited and 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 chosen by Allah سبحانه وتعالى to allow us to come to such gatherings where, where it's talking about tazkiyah, getting connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, getting connected to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu and purifying our heart, purifying our uh, uh, inner sight, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and rectifying our actions and our behavior in, uh, in regards to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu so the topic that I'm given, it's uh, every person desires that he gets the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he gets the, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he gets uh, and the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every person desires that. Right? And sometimes sometime person persons gets the blessing, but uh, m might not get the, get the mercy. Right? Sometimes he might, he might get the mercy, might, might not get the blessing. But there's one action the person does, there's one emotional action that the person does, and it is the core of everything. Ali radiallahu anhu, he have said that this, uh, the topic that I have is sabr. Sabr means patience in English, to endure, to stop, stop yourself from, uh, uh, refrain yourself from uh, committing anything. So, uh, so sabr could be done through uh, refraining yourself from sins. You know, and enduring all uh, uh, difficulty while performing the good deeds. A right? person can't get up for fajr, and he's having a hard time. You know, his warm bed is cold outside, and you know, and he could stay in there, but he makes sabr and he says that I have to stand up in front of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I have to perform, and 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 anything conflict, any uh, any anything conflicts by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Any diseases, any problem. That he uh, uh, that he stays uh, stays connected with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. He doesn't blame Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Why does it happen to me? What did I do? What, what did I do to deserve this? And and he relies and he says that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the one that is uh, that is the one who uh, who afflicted me with, and 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 he's a shukr of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The next thing that comes into him is shukr. So Ali Radhanan said that uh, sabr, sabr is, is as if the head of Iman. Just like the body, we have a head. If a person doesn't have a head, there's no way the person could stay alive. That you know that this person is dead. You will not find a human being that is walking without a head. So say if you would find a person without an arm, without a leg, without an eye, maybe no nose or ear. Other parts would, uh, would be afflicted, uh, it, it might, uh, might see a person without it, but the head you will not see. The sabr, the, the, the sabr is just like the head on, uh, on Iman. If you were to make Iman into, uh, into a body, the sabr, uh, this is, uh, that, is, uh, that is a description of sabr. It's, it's the core of everything. It's the core of everything. So any quality a person develops in him, Right? Any, uh, anything that he wants to prevent himself from. Right? There's two things that he's, uh, that he's debating, that he's fighting over. is shahwa and he's fighting over his ghadab and his anger. So you know, in order to come overcome those uh, two uh, deficiency within him and, and to get control over them, is through sabr. Once he has sabr, he's able to control, uh, control over them. And in the Quran, if you look at is, uh, is, uh, Imam, uh, Imam Ahmed uh, bin Hanbal have mentioned that sabr has men is mentioned in the Quran 90 times. And, and that, that was the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam constantly reminding him of sabr. People are mocking him and is constantly reminding him of sabr. So, uh, 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 and, and if you look at many surahs, it's constantly reminding him of sabr. Don't, uh, uh, don't sadden yourself. You know, consoling him, and he said that do the action of the previous anbiya, they uh, and do the action of the previous anbiya how they uh, how they enjoy enjoy themselves in sabr, and they had sabr. Uh, 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 they did the action of sabr, and Allah subhanahu wa taala elevated them. So do not don't worry about the mockery of these people are doing, 
and the story that we know of Taif, you know, he's being stoned to a point that, you know, and he's, he said for three miles, the uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is being stoned. And they, they stoned him so, so severely that they say that the, uh, the blood is gushing out of his body and it clogged into his shoe, uh, in, in his shoes. And, and he would fall and he would get up and he would, uh, he would run away from them. And, uh, and where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him the status that you're, uh, you're the king of this universe and the, and the hereafter. And this was happening to him. And he's, he's such a prophet that he would not run away from a fight. But at that moment in Mecca, he was given, he was given, uh, uh, he, he was given an order of sabr. And, he, uh, and, he's, uh, and he's doing sabr. Uh, and the angels in the heavens, they, they are disturbed by this action, and, uh, by the behavior of the people of Taif. And they came down to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, give us order. We're at your order. And the angels on the mountain, he says, you allow us and we will crush them. And we'll turn them into dust. And Rasulullah Rasul was given the order of sabr in Mecca, and, and he said, "No, I do not need your uh, I do not need your help. I do not need your assistance. I'm, I have given order to uh, I have been give, given order of sabr." And then the and and, and uh, when he came to extreme uh, extreme point, and when he had he, when he did not see any uh, any hope in them, the enemies they became uh, one person amongst them became very, uh, that they saw the torture that he was going through, that his heart became soft towards him. And, and, and he presented him with some water, some grapes. So anyhow, so when he w went through from the extreme, uh, 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 to extreme sacrifice, and that was only happening because of sabr. And, and when he raised his hand, when he's, uh, when he's ready to make dua, and he's not making dua, the Allah destroy them. What he's making dua, O oh Allah, it was lack of my planning. It was lack of my planning that I could not give them da'wah. And uh, he said, if you do not bless them with Iman, allow, uh, uh, ble uh, if you do not bless them with Islam, give Islam to their generation. And he's making dua for their, uh, uh, for their protection. They do not destroy them. And that's what happened. People after them became uh, became great, great aima. So, per, and then and the reward that Rasulullah sallallahu got from uh, from going through these so much uh, so much torture was was miraj. Miraj was bl uh, blessed to Rasul uh, uh, Isra and miraj was blessed to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The reward that is showing him in this world that you're the master of uh, hereafter, and of course in, in this world as well. And blessed him with this, uh, with this miracle of Miraj, uh, Isra and Miraj. And he traveled the heavens to, uh, to calm Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And to remind him, the person who stays steadfast and, 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 and does, not, uh, uh, does not give up. That's what sabr is, it's not to give up on, uh, on something. And, then, and when he learned, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa about sabr, constantly teaching them, uh, te uh, teaching in the Qur'an, and, and then he would teach the same lesson to the Sahaba. And when we look into the life of Sahaba, and so uh, we might could deny the miracles, you might could deny the karamat of, uh, of Sahaba, you might deny the, uh, the miracle of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but you cannot deny their, their sabr and their patience. A person, he might deny that this maybe it happened, maybe not, did not happen. When we speak of Sahaba, when we speak of Rasulullah Sallallahu we speak of the miracles, they get confused. Maybe it happened, maybe not. Just like I mentioned, Isra Miraj, is it maybe it's a dream, it's not reality. There's nothing to it, right? So, but, 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 the, sac uh, 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 but the sacrifice and the, and, and the hardship that they went through, no one can deny. No one can deny. Right? Bilal radiallahu an, he's a slave and he's being tortured so much that boulder, burning boulder is put onto his chest and, uh, and, and, and foam is coming out of his mouth but his uh, and, and what is allowing him to say ahad is sabr. 
that he's constantly in, 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 focus, in, focus of, uh, uh, in focus of Saba. He's enduring for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And many Sahaba, uh, uh, and many uh, uh, Sahaba, they went through Musa bin Umair, young, uh, 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 young Sahabi, at the age of 15 to 16, he accepted Islam. As soon as he heard the message of Rasulullah sallallahu he was the first one, uh, amongst the first one who accepted Islam. And he was, uh, and, and, and you might say that, you know, the, uh, they weren't, uh, maybe they were poor or something like that. You might have some ishkala against them. But he was very wealthy. He had no reason to accept Islam. He had no reason to accept Islam to come to this so, so much torture that his clothes would be 200, uh, 200 dirham. If you were to me measure uh, uh, at this time, it would, it would worth more, uh, at least $20,000. Right? His clothes, and he would not wear the same clothes over again. That's how wealthy he was. But as soon as he accepted Islam, the first lesson that he was taught was sabr. You know, his uncle uh, tortured him, uh, uh, put him in the house and constantly tortured him. It stopped his food, it stopped his nu uh, nutrient, and it stopped him from going to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And to a point it came that he said to leave the house. And, and, he was, uh, and, and, and he left the house. Uncle thought that maybe I'd kick him out of the house, then he might turn back. Might, you know, uh, have resent that, you know, I made a mistake. He said, okay, no problem. For what, what was allowing him to do all this? It was sabr. Was was uh, uh, was having sabr for sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and was not raising anything, and 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 then uh, and he left, and Allah uh, and uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent him to Habsha, and he was the first one uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent to Medina, and uh, and uh, he was sent to Medina. And, 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 he was, uh, and he was given instruction to teach them uh, about Islam and make as many Muslims that you could. And, uh, and that was his job. And, uh, and, and what, he became, uh, what he got in return, they said over 200 people have accepted Islam before Rasulullah sallallahu uh, 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 before Rasulullah sallallahu did hijrah to Medina. And when he was passing away, when he was passing away where I, where I mentioned that he was the wealthiest of, uh, of, uh, of youngsters. And he was, given, he was given the honor to hold the flag of the Muslim in, in the battle. And, 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 he was, and, he, and he became shaheed in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to a point that he did not have a uh, uh, kafan, did not have any shawl to cover his entire body. So they would cover his face, it would, it would expose his feet, they will cover his feet, his face will expose. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa looked at this situation and he, and, and, he, and, he, uh, and, and he reminded the Sahaba that, you, do you remember this youngster? He was amongst, the, uh, uh, amongst those who, uh, uh, he, he had no reason to go through all this pain, but all he, uh, he, he had no reason to go through all this difficulty, but he did it for sake of Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And, was, and what, what allowed him to do was patience. Allow, what allowed him to do all this, what emotion that allowed him to do all this was patience and, 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 and asking for reward from, uh, and, and earning reward from, through patience, through sabr. And that's what allowed him to go to these uh, extreme uh, ex uh, measures. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu he says, if you, uh, after he's observing his life, the difficulty that he went through with Rasulullah and the Sahaba he went through, and he said that you cannot enjoy life without sabr. You cannot enjoy life without sabr. You could go, uh, uh, you could have everything, but, but the, the, he said the both most enjoyable days were when you had to do patience, uh, when, you, when you had to go through sabr. We were going through difficulty, but, uh, but now we enjoy the, uh, enjoy the fruits of sabr. And, and he, would, he would envy those times, and he would talk about those times over and over, 
just to uh, just to uh, to get the flavor of sabr back. And 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 this is the uh, uh, sabr is the, uh, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in the Quran that I will test you. Once you come close to me, I will test you with your uh, with uh, 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 with, uh, with patience, and I will test you with it to a point that I will take everything away from you. I'll take everything away from you. I'll test you with your life. I'll test you with your uh, with your wealth, and, and and with with fear. I'll test you with, and 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 then and then if you and if you surpass all that, then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will or the mercy of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will come upon to you, you know. Then then the blessing of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will come upon to you, and and you'll be forgiven, and your reward will be paradise. And many stories are there. May, uh, do not make this. Uh, I do not want to make this long. So what we, uh, when when a person who's going through, who's the one who is salik, who's who's striving to earn the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, who's in tazkia, he needs to understand what sabr is, what what patience is, and that's the only way he he will be able to uh, increase in his uh, uh, in his amal, in his in his deed, how to prevent himself from sin. It, 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 the only emotion that would allow him. Is sabr only emotion that will allow him to do good deeds? It will allow him to stand in difficult times, and will allow him to fight, uh, 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 fight for the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in 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 time where there's it will be cold, but he will stand up for Fajr Salah. It will be difficult. He will stand up for uh, 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 for Tahajjud Salah. It will be difficult that uh, uh, that he will be hungry in the month of Ramadan, but he will, he will still sit and recite the Quran. Uh, Quran. And you'll be uh, many difficulty will come upon him. That you'll be tested with your wealth. You might not have anything. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala see that how 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 much uh, how much you go for. I'll end up with the story of uh, Urwa bin Zubair radiAllahu an. That he was he's a companion, one of the greatest companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And he, he he lost his leg, and he lost his leg, and they cut his leg off, uh, mutilated his leg, because some disease came onto uh, came upon him. They had to cut his leg. As he cut his leg, a person comes to him, and he said, and he comes to him to console him, and he says that, uh, and he was about to console him, and he said that if you're here to console me, uh, uh, for for the condolence of my legs, if you're here for this reason, he said, I already have done sabr, uh, and I have relied on Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and His reward, and I left it to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. They said, no, 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 that's not what I'm here. Reason I'm here that you your son was playing in the barn, and he fell off the horse. And the horse trembled him, and he passed away. So Urwa bin Zubair radiAllahu an, and and he he says a poetry, and he's and and the meaning of the poetry he says that O oh Allah, you have uh, uh, you have taken my uh, leg away, but I have the other one, and and, and he said I have the other uh, other parts in 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 my body. I still have those, and he does shukr of those parts. He said you took one son away. Ya Allah is, uh, and I do shukr to you that you left the others, that you took one away, but you left the others. He said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. And this was this was uh, this was the teaching of uh, of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They implemented in their life that they they lost uh, lost something in this life, and uh, and all they did was uh, was patience. And once a person does patience, this next next thing that comes is the shukr that that comes uh, when he he thanks and he becomes gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa taala that you have given me other blessings. You took one. But I have the other blessings. Wa akhidha alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. May Allah allow us to uh, uh, to act upon sabr and just like the previous uh, previous people have done, like the, uh, like the Anbiya alayhim wasalam and the Sahaba.